Speaking of intuition, that was actually my next question. So it's <laughs> working very well because you had said somewhere else that you wanted to stay out of the way of your own film and let the Camino mm. dictate sort of how it was going to be. How do you think we as filmmakers get in the way of our work? Well, I found that fascinating when you said that. I think when we come up with a plan and stick to it, no matter how much uh, the universe is kind of going, no, you should go this way. Um, I think when you get dead set, like it has to be this way rather than just kind of going with the flow. And I, for me, it was really about um, just setting that intention of, I want this to be the Camino's film. I want this to be the highest and greatest thing that it can be. And I want it to be, if the Camino was a person and could make the film, that's what I want. And so I might have my, my things. I mean, personally, if, if it was just me and my film, we would have had like six sections on snoring. But, you know, thank God for editors. Um, but I also realized, like, no, that's, that's, that was just my issue. It's not everybody's issue. Um, I think that's the biggest thing, is, is setting an intention more than anything and not necessarily worrying about how it has to fulfill itself, but just saying, this is my intention and I'm going to trust that it's going to come out that way. And I also did... Um, what's called visioning. It's a process. Um, one of my spiritual teachers is uh, Reverend Michael Beckwith, and um, I was trained as a practitioner at Agape, and he has this thing called visioning, which is sort of going into a meditative state and sort of letting things come to you. So the idea being, and I, I feel like this, that it's, it's really kind of coming through me, um, not rather just rather than originating originating with me it's coming kind of through rather than just starting here and coming out any advice to fellow filmmakers on when they find themselves getting in their way or or, or being too attached to the results of something with your film I mean, were there other instances aside from the snoring which i thought was very funny the <laughs> the few that you did have in there was yeah. great but um where you found you know what i need to get out of the way of this film I'm, I'm, I'm coming in too much. I'm a big proponent of meditation. I think quieting our minds and just calming the mind. And for me, it's, it's totally a practice. I would not say I am uh, um, totally successful at quieting my mind by no means, but it is the practice of doing that and of sitting every day. Um, so that, that is what really works for me. And on the shoot, many times I... I had um, two people on the on the crew that were um, very solid meditators. They also had a daily practice, and occasionally, when I just felt really just completely at odds with everything, I would grab one of them and say, "Come meditate with me." And even just ten minutes made a really big difference. And Annie also was a really big support for me on the shoot. She. Um, because she's from Agape, um, we did what's called spiritual mind treatment, and she would really kind of try and hold me um, in in consciousness. There's there's a bunch of terminology that we use, but she was really very helpful as well. Um, and let me think. Um, I think the other thing that that from my spiritual work that I've really learned to lean into is that what looks like an obstacle or what looks like really horrible news can be great news. And that was one of those things that, you know, each time something came up, like I had this really big insight about, I was so frustrated at how long it was taking me to raise the money to finish the film. And it was so hard and I, you know, the way shot after us and they came out years before and I was so frustrated, you know, just struggling with trying to get the money. And it was, we were in Portland for 11 weeks for our first run. And it was after coming back from one of those Q and A's, I was on the, um, I was walking down to my house and it just dawned on me, what was so challenging in that moment has been my biggest blessing because, because the way came out two years before, it paved the way for us and it made our way so much easier. And so there was really a blessing in it. And the more you can lean into that and go, okay, I'm really unhappy with this situation. And I'm sure there's something good coming from this. 
and just keep yourself in that and and be open to the what good that could what good be, could be happening that you're not aware of just yet and even to your life in 2007 as probably difficult as it was yes it shook things up but then you went on the Camino and look what's happened as a result so exactly the same type of thing and that seemed to be a theme with everyone. yeah and the other thing I wanted to mention that um, as I personally do a lot of work on myself and I think that's very important I work with a spiritual practitioner on a very consistent basis and that was a big part of the film because my stuff was getting was coming up um, a lot of people in the crew a lot of people kind of connected to the film their stuff is coming up and without having someone that I was consistently working with to go this is coming up you know what how am I contributing to this and how do I need to shift and where where can I grow and how can I be more of who I really want to be and um, and I also work with a, a therapist on you know he, he's kind of I call him now and then when things come up I'm just a really big proponent of getting help of you know I don't think we're here on this planet meant to try and figure everything out by ourselves I really think that um, give and take and having somebody outside yourself and especially when it's somebody professional because it's a lot of pressure I think to put on our friends like I'm going through this really hard time help me and not only that they're not trained and but the more we can kind of look at ourselves and look at what's happening on my side of the street like you may be doing what what's going on over here but I have the opportunity to look at it differently to reframe it to to really step into who I am instead of getting sucked into just a reaction.